Well, hello, folks. This is Jamil Sofer, Gun Store Reviews. We're here in Phoenix, Arizona at Marty's Place. How you doing, Marty? Good. And low custom guns. Low Remember custom that. guns. Okay, Marty. Um, today, we're going to go back to the Colt Anaconda mm -hmm. that we worked on before. Mm -hmm. We changed the grips. We put the rail on it. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to put a red dot on it. Which red dot are we going to put on it? I picked the Aimpoint Acro. This is the original Acro, not the newest version of mm -hmm. it. It's a really good compact small um, red dot but it requires us to have a adapter mm -hmm. to put it on there are two ways of adapting these things and i got this from aimpoint number one is to get a micro base and an adapter that converts the micro base into a acro base and it basically goes in there and is held by four screws or option number two in, in door number b is the b and quick latch acro to picatinny rail adapter is one piece instead of two pieces um, you can get them both from aimpoint so if you already have a micro base kicking around you just get the adapter and you're good to go uh, but if I, we're going to go with the b and one mm -hmm. we're just going to put this one on it's going to be really simple and it's going to be a two-step clamp this on and clamp the acro on so marty honors please here we go and and marty i got a question for you where exactly would you put this we have such a long rail here where exactly in the rail would you recommend to put this on so we we're having a little discussion here because to be perfectly honest i've never round i've never mounted a red dot sight to a revolver so here's our thought process looking at this right we run it all the way back which would work just fine we can run it further forward now if i run it in the medium spot here there's potential for blast to come out, right? So in a revolver, all your gas is kind of shoot out in this direction and it kind of gathers in right here. So you actually have a, a kind of a jet here, right? Where the gases could jet here and forward, right? Is it a big deal? No, not really. The site can take it. These things are actually very tough. Um, they have kind of an external and internal housing. But that said, I'm really just gonna run that just back behind, just back behind the cylinder there. So that's gonna be our mount point anyway. And all we're gonna do with this here is we're just going to check our fit on this, really right about there. And you see how it kind of snaps over, right? So we're gonna we're gonna adjust the tension on this. So there's a screw on this backside here and I'll have to grab a little wrench for this or a set of flat jet pliers. So I'm just kind of checking the tension on this a little bit. So once again, what I'm doing is I'm checking the fit. And this thing's, this thing's loose, but it's not tight. I, this doesn't have to be gorilla on here, right? Um, but I'm just checking the tension little by little, and I'm coming through and adjusting this. And of course this, there. No, just a little more. And all we're doing is just doing a little fit check test. So I'm just tweaking that just a little bit tighter. So some of the other aim point mounts adjust by the way. Now that's, you can actually see here where I started to meet some resistance here. So I started to meet some resistance and I'm just gonna give this just a tweak more. It doesn't have to be, like I say, supremely tight. It just needs to not, not fall yeah. off. Yeah, it's uh, actually very tight. So even, even right there, I mean, it's just fingertip pressure, but you can just see it start to load there. So let me want just, just a tiny tweak. And there we go. Oh yeah, there we go. So now, from here, the back side of this, yes, they, they send their own, they send their own uh, screwdriver with this, right? And this also helps because you can, uh, you can pull these off. And this is also their adjustment for their aimpoint micros. Um, what we're gonna do here is just mount this on the top. As follows. And it just snapped over. Just gonna tighten this back up. Really, you're gonna really only go about 15 inch pounds on these. Yeah, you don't want so, over time, you don't want to break it. Now you see this plastic here, it's flexing my fingers here and I'm using fingertip pressure. So that, that's about it. And then that right there, it's already on. 
So, and one of the nice things about this mount here is if you get tired of this or you want to, you want to put it away, right? You can pull this off and then just put it back on. And these aim points are very good about having repeatable zero. Um, you know, you guys, you guys have, have uh, done some videos with Freddie Blish, and I'm familiar with him as well. I used to work for him. And uh, he used to be a rep for, for aim point, and he used to literally take a sight off, or he would take it to the range, shoot it, take it off, throw it down the range, put it back on, and it would re repeat to zero. So they're very tough sights. And that said, that's your, uh, that's your, your sight install. Oh, sweet. Now, um, range time to sight it in. Mm -hmm. And actually, I'm really happy with it. It just feels great. I mean, it's right there. So I need to get used to using a it, red dot. It, it's, pretty, it's pretty tall as far as your, uh, oh, your, yeah. your height over your wrist. But I mean, yeah. Well, it's, it's like in the old days of USPSA when mm -hmm. we shot the big Tasco beer can. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah those It's things, definitely a heads up display there. Yeah, <laughs> it is a heads up display. So it was great. Thanks for doing this, Marty. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Hey, guys, I know you guys wanted to see a red dot on it. There you have it, a red dot on the anaconda. Now we've got to sight it in and take it to the range and shoot something with it. So, guys, like always, please remain healthy, stay safe, and have fun on the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.